All right, in Webflow, if you wanna set up your Google Search Console and your SEO, I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna dive right into it, okay? So I've got this website, Financial Breakthrough. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in to make sure that it's published and everything. I'm gonna to go to SEO, and I'm gonna make sure that I turn on the sitemap. And essentially what that'll do is once I publish that, I'll be able to come in and I go forward slash sitemap, forward slash sitemap, dot xml okay and you should know this already and here's my sitemap it shows all of that you will want to make sure that um you know a couple little flaws people do <laughs> they'll leave cms items in there that are dummy cms don't do that because they get crawled but now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the google search console and the bing search console and i'm going to show you how to take webflow and set up your your uh your google search console it's a critical part of seo all right so what you're going to do is you're going to go to search console and you're going to come down and you're going to go add property you're gonna put the domain in there, not the whole domain, but their domain. And uh, you have two options here. You could do the URL prefix, 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 or you could do the domain. I like to do the domain, so I'm gonna hit continue. And there's a fun little thing that we can do in here with, um, we can either add the DNS, so you can go in and add a TXT file right here if you want to. Um, but there is a thing that we can do for Webflow, and all I do is I copy that, and we're gonna go uh, text edit. I'm gonna open that up and take a look at it. And what you'll see in there is there's this letter. Site verification equals. Okay, that site verification is what we're gonna grab. We're gonna come over to Webflow SEO. We're gonna go site verification. We're gonna put it right here. Okay, now this is kind of nice. We don't have to go in and do it through the DNS settings. We hit OK. And if we go up and hit publish, hit publish, that will um, help you. Now, another thing you'd want to do is go to general as we wait for that to publish. Make sure that you generally have your, your localization set. If, if the language is English, push, put EN in there, I guess. Um, <laughs> turn off your all the Webflow branding and everything. And you're, you're almost close. I do want to keep this URL up here. So once we've done that... Um, we should be good if we go back to SEO. Let's see if that took, if I hit verify. Sometimes you have to verify later if it takes a while. Now this didn't happen. So I am gonna go in and I am gonna add that TXT file. I have seen sometimes it requires that. So give me just a second. I'm gonna go into their, um, to his name cheaper, wherever it is and get that going. All right, so now I'm in um, Google domains here. I'm gonna grab their URL and I'm gonna go to manage DNS. I'm gonna add a record and it's gonna be a TXT record. You should know how to do this. You're gonna do at sign, place that in. Boom, oh wait, no, that's not what I want. I want the, man, I almost screwed that up. Copy this thing and we'll put it in there too. So if for some reason that didn't take, you hit save. Now GoDaddy's kind of nice, so is um, some of the bigger companies. It usually the DNS stuff updates very quickly. Some of the cheap ones will take a long time. So if you hit verify now, if we give it like a count of three, I'd imagine it's good. So we're gonna go to verify. There's a chance that, that takes a second. Oh, there's another one in there. Um, God, that's annoying. So we're gonna go to any DNS. And instead of that, we're gonna do the CNAME record, which is super annoying. So we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do a CNAME record instead. Probably gonna delete that last one. We're gonna go add CNAME. Um, and there was like a name there. Oh, wait, that name was right there. And so, whoop, we got this the label host, and then we got the, the C name, destination, or target. Yes, 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 yes. I know. Go away. Value. Hit save. And then we'll give that just a second. We should be able to verify. Now, I'm just being impatient. Chances are this will go and. Uh, just give it a minute, we'll verify later. I bet that'll pop up, it usually does. So um, again, these things take a minute to actually get going. So there, it even like started already. So that's how you hook up the Google Search Console. The last thing that you'll wanna do is go to your Bing Search Console or Bing Webmaster Tools. Get signed up for Bing Webmaster and you're gonna come up here to the left and you go add a site and what I usually do is when I do add a site, you can just add it right here um, and, and put the URL there if you want to, or you can just import from your Google Search Console. And that's kind of the basics right off the bat, but 
The second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab this sitemap and come over here to sitemaps and submit that sitemap here. And then when you're in Bing Webmaster, you're going to go to sitemaps and you're going to want to submit the sitemap. Um, financial. Good Lord, I have breakthrough. Yeah, we're going to add a site. We're going to import. We'll get that going.